Let's make that look outside, everyone. And as we see it continuing to get more in the way of traffic flows, looking smooth. Beautiful start to the day. A little bit of patchy fog possible as we go through the next few hours, but all in all, it is going to be more about this. More cars getting out on the road, but still more sun working to welcome us into the day. And cooler air seeing the mid 60s out there but the thing is they're not muggy mid 60s everything is falling back with these temps let's take a check right now we've got columbia and lexington and sumter camden you know orangeburg you're combining all these temperatures pretty much you're going to be continuing to split the difference around 65 similar feels you know for areas like manning but of course as we continue on towards the west i need to continue to say newberry has been more of the big outlier because right now they're at 57 to kickstart this day while most of the rest of us continue to sit in these 60s. Basically, it's simple. The further towards the upstate you go of South Carolina, the cooler you're going to be this morning. They got a lot of 50s up there to start out the day. Going into this, we get the humidity to make that big tumble. We get the blue skies to win out again, and we're just going to be nice and pleasant. We're easily going to be, of course, seeing a dry stretch between even not just Wednesday and even Thursday, could even see it sneak into Friday. So let's see how long that's going to be continuing and what, of course, is going to be the big change and shake up as we get closer to the weekend and here we go it's really laid out as we get on towards Saturday we eventually could see as projected a bump in humidity just more in the way of moisture available and this is going to be from a low pressure system that will try to form itself and get together off the coast of the Carolinas and actually could be pushing in as we get very late into this week that's going to be something we keep monitoring for you and it really is just laid out by this you could see hey oh it's going to be so nice and dry less humidity for the first half of the week then need to be a little bit more weather aware towards the weekend. But right now, not so much. The main thing to be weather aware about is the sun. The UV rays still out there, of course, as we go on forward into this one. That could still be high around the 7. That means sunburn times, 25 minutes. Just something, of course, you don't want to forget about as we get closer and closer to the fall. It's always something we stress, you know, during the summer months, between vacation, people going to the beach, laying at the pool. You don't see that as much as we go on further and further. But, you know, you still got to, of course, be protecting yourselves out there. And, of course, keeping the eyes on on the sky when we get more in the way of any severe weather chances those aren't completely you know away just yet but i digress we focus on of course more the next couple of days where the main item you should be having of course is the sunglasses and as we go on we're still going to be seeing just more of the blue skies winning out this forecast period it is going to be lovely going through today national cheeseburger day perhaps a good day especially for lunchtime hit up your favorite local spot if you got that time grab a burger i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of special going on around the region and as we see those temperatures rise they're set to fall again look at this tonight 58 I'm going with that for the average low temperature easily gonna be some of you getting back to the mid 50s tonight we have that potential as we get of course a very nice calming wind pattern and a good amount of that clearing it's gonna be a perfect combination with humidity holding off as we get those temps to tumble once more rising up towards Tuesday and Wednesday still seeing mid 80 potential you know it's gonna be warm very warm for the afternoon afternoon before we see things fall back again. Now later this week, you still need to keep your eyes on Saturday. That looks to be the best possible day from what we can see with moisture pushing in a low trying to get itself together as we kickstart that weekend. I'll let you know, of course, if anything changes. Keep following along for those first alert weather details.